Hey creators and welcome back to Creator Side Income. This is an episode that I'm very excited about because I'm trying a new income source, which is TikTok Shop. And in this video, I'm gonna go through my full first month of what I did and what my results were as an affiliate on TikTok Shop. So this video is gonna be what I learned and what I earned in my first month. Now, I was really excited when I first heard about TikTok Shop because I was seeing crazy results. Um, I would hip hop onto Facebook and I would see things like $2,000 in a week or $8,000 in a week or $2,000 in a day. Um, and it just went from there. And then somebody who I know and respect was putting just insane numbers up, $47,000 in a month. And Ruben wasn't the only one that was experiencing this. I was seeing a lot of people who I know and who I respect that were having great results on the TikTok shop. So as frustrating as it was to get in, I knew I needed to at least try out this platform. And so I went about the process. Now, when you do that, um, there are a few ways that you could get in, and I think that might be changing. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I know the number one way is if you have 5,000 followers, you can link uh, an affiliate or you can sign up for the affiliate program and you can get in that way. I had zero followers on TikTok shop because it's not a platform that I used. And so I followed the steps that Ruben outlined in one of his videos. I actually think I saw a different video before this one came out, but it was basically the same steps as which said uh, you can create a seller account and then you can link that to your TikTok account and you can do it that way. So that's the way I signed up. I don't know if you can uh, sign up that way anymore. I'm hearing that they're not doing new accounts that way. And so you might have to have 5,000 followers. Um, I decided to go ahead and set some goals for my first month and I just wanted to share some of those goals with you. So goal number one was to learn as much as I could about the program. Uh, I'm a lifelong learner as a school teacher and as a student, I just really value learning as much as possible, which is why I love this platform of YouTube so much because you can find so much information for free. But in addition, and I know this again as a teacher, if you simply learn things, that's not as effective as learning and doing. And so as part of the learning process, I actually decided that I would interview some of my friends who were doing the influencer program and other people that I found through Facebook groups and others that were having a lot of success with uh, TikTok shop. And so I wanted to interview a few of them. So that was goal number one, is to learn by interviewing others and by watching videos. Then I wanted to uh, have the goal of publishing at least 10 videos in my first month. Uh, so I had that and then I was going to share my results. And so that's what I'm doing now is fulfilling that third goal. And as part of that, uh, it's hard to set a number goal for for things that you can't control. So I can make 100 videos and maybe none of them sell. Uh, but the goal is to create the 100 videos. I was hopeful that in my first month I could at least make $100, which would be about as much as a lot of my other side hustles that aren't really popping off yet, but are at least interesting. If you're making an extra 100 bucks a month, it's interesting. So that was the goal for month one. So as far as learning, I, I mentioned I know a few people, and so I thought I would start by watching their YouTube videos. And so I hopped on and I watched some videos uh, by Eric from Shuckabuck. Um, I watched some videos from probably my favorite influencer in the Amazon Influencer Program, uh, Adam from Can I? And so I watched a bunch of his videos and then kind of the OG in the TikTok shop space is Ruben Chavez from Rich Input. And so I watched a bunch of his videos. And then I took that second step and I actually interviewed all three uh, of these influencers and put their videos on my channel. So if you haven't watched those interviews yet, you should go back and watch them because especially as you watch all three of them, they are gonna say a lot of the same things, which is really good news because if you're looking at people who are successful in the program, you want to do the things that all of them are doing. And so they have similar suggestions on how to edit your videos, similar suggestions on how to find the products, similar suggestions about consistency and resilience within the program. And so I learned a lot by watching these videos. 
and I have now started to implement some of their strategies, but this has been a process. So I haven't done everything yet. I'm still working on it. So as far as what I did accomplish this last month, I created 26 TikTok shop videos. I didn't have 26 different products because some of the products I made multiple videos for, and I'll talk about that more in a minute. Let me break down where I got those products. So 13 were products that I already owned. They were things just sitting around my house, but I found out that they were on TikTok shop, and so I made a short video for them or used a video I had already created on a different platform and used that. I had five that were products that I got recently for the Amazon Influencer Program. So these were products that were sent to me and I made some videos about those. Three were things I actually purchased from TikTok. I don't normally do that, but things on TikTok shop are really, really cheap and they have a lot of coupons and a lot of flash sales. And I thought, let's go ahead and put a teeny bit of money into this and try to get some good products. So I did buy three products and then I found out about halfway through the month that people will actually send you samples. And so I got five samples. Since then, I've gotten a ton more, but that will go on next month's income report. So that's where they all came from. Now, just as a side note, you see here in my notes that I did purchase eight total products. So three, I actually made videos of last month. The other five I have to publish in the next few days or weeks. That's all kind of in progress. And so I'm working on figuring out how to do samples. It's a really cool thing where you can just request a sample and you'll get collab invites within the app. So once you get going on this, I started getting like five invitations every day. And of those five, I'd pick one or two that I thought had sales, were potential to go viral. And then out of those one or two, one would get sent to me. So I'm getting like one product a day, but I'm getting a lot more requests than that. And so there is a lot of potential and we'll talk about this more later, but it, even if you fail miserably in the TikTok shop, you can at least get free products, which is pretty cool. All right, so getting into the actual financial results after a month, after doing all that, you know, I was hoping to make $100 and I thought certainly with 26 products, at least a few of them will get sales and um, no. <laughs> Only one product had significant sales and that was so sad and disheartening. Here's my expression for that one. <laughs> I, I was so frustrated because I had seen other people that had videos that were going viral and I wasn't experiencing that. And then I did have one product that did quite well, but nothing else sold. Now, remember, these are products that I just found lying around my house. They didn't have a track record of sales on that platform. And a lot of the early products that I got from TikTok shop, I just got them because they looked like things I wanted, but they weren't things that were selling like crazy. And so lesson learned on that. And I'm gonna return to that lesson in a minute. Now, as far as the, the products I actually sold, here's a, a screenshot of my actual TikTok shop account. It's called Reviews of Cool Stuff. If you wanna check it out, you're welcome to look through my videos, follow me, whatever. But of those, the first one that got a sale was this little yard tool that I actually purchased on Amazon to do an Amazon influencer video for and because I wanted the tool and it got one sale and it made me $5.14. So that was kind of frustrating, but I had one other product that did much better. A product that was sent to me, a, a little wallet that was sent to me as part of the Amazon influencer program, I was paid $40 to make a video and put it on Amazon, but then I went ahead and made three separate videos specifically for TikTok. And one of them got over 200,000 views, another one got over 100,000 views, and then the third one only got 1,000 views, which is uh, more than most of my videos got, but really low compared to the others. Now, of those three videos, you see it's all for the same product. What made this product different was it already had a lot of sales on the platform, and once one of my videos started doing well, the company actually reached out to me and said, hey, we're gonna run ads to your video, which is a nice bonus. I didn't know that was a thing. So they started running their own ads to my video so that it got more views per day. And then they even, after a, another couple of weeks, they wrote back and they said, you're one of our best sellers for this product. We wanna say thank you by increasing your commission. So they actually doubled my commission. And so then my income went up all in all. And I don't think I put a total for this, but in my first month, 
I made about $650 on the platform. And that was all from just this one product. So super frustrating first month because I tried a lot of different things and 99% of it failed. I had one thing go right and I learned a lot of things. So I'm hoping to have much better results in month two. I'm not giving up on the program yet, although it has definitely been a roller coaster and it's frustrating. The TikTok shop app is frustrating to use as an influencer. It's really clunky. It's hard to keep track of all your messages and all the things that are happening, but I've done the best I could with it. So as far as my big lessons learned, I think this is really the key if you wanna have success. The strategies taught by Ruben, by Adam, by Eric, they're effective strategies. And so they're all saying the same things. Make your vertical videos short and punchy. Don't have any pauses in your video. Make sure you delete any ums or, or, or breaks. If you can do multiple camera shots, do that. Show yourself using the product. Show it actually in use. Get products that are already viral and make a bunch of videos for those product. So those, those are strategies that all of these influencers have used. And I've seen at least with my wallet video that made a difference. I, I followed their strategies in making that video and it worked. Product research is key, I think. And so even if you're buying products from TikTok, make sure you're buying products that have a lot of sales or potential for a lot of sales. And this is something where I haven't experienced this yet, but I know a few influencers say, hey, if you can make a video go viral, it doesn't matter what product you have, just make a great video and help people to purchase it. Make sure you're using scarcity. Make sure that you're showing the best features of the product. This is an important lesson learned because as I went back and I looked just today at, I have, I think, nine products, samples being sent to me right now, and another five or six that might, they're in the approval process. And when I looked at that list, I saw, oh, this is actually over $1,000 worth of merchandise. And to get $1,000 of, of merchandise for free in a month, that's pretty awesome. So even if you make zero money, if you can get some collaboration requests, if you have companies that are willing to work with you, this is a great way to get free products. And then you can either use those products or you can turn around and sell them on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. You know, that's the worst case scenario here. And is it gonna take a lot of time up front? Probably, if you wanna do it right, you're gonna have to learn different skills and, and develop skills. But that gave me some hope because I was at the point where I'm like, I don't know if this is worth it. But I thought, I'm gonna do one more month where I really dig in and go all in and we'll see. Finally, and this is totally my opinion, but I think there is a lot of luck involved. As I've looked at influencers who have done really well, they have roller coasters too. So they might have a lot of income one month and then it might drop a lot the next month and then it might go back up. But what I'm finding is consistency, and I didn't put this, this should be number five, consistency is key. If you continue make videos, you're likely to have at least one that does well. And if you have one video that does well, you're gonna get more collaboration invites, your other videos are gonna get more views, and that's gonna make a difference. In all, I had almost half a million views in my first month. That resulted in me getting over 80 followers, over a thousand likes, and that's just my first month in the program. I've never seen another platform, including YouTube, including Amazon Influencer, where you could grow your brand so quickly and have so much success right from the beginning. Now it's frustrating getting in, but if you can go through all those hoops to get your account up and active and start reviewing videos, you can have a lot of success right away. Let me just quickly go over my goals for next month because I probably won't do another video on TikTok for a month. So I want you to know what I'm working on during this month. My goals are I'm gonna increase my video output to 30 videos this month. I will share my results at the end of the month with you. And I'm gonna hope to earn over $1,000 in month two. I think that's a very realistic goal for me. So that's where we're at. I would love to know if you have any questions you want me to answer about the TikTok shop. It's fun to make these kinds of videos. You'll notice that the style this time is a little different. This is actually closer to the style I use when I teach my students. I have some sections that are face-to-face -face and some sections that are online. And for my online students, I typically have a PowerPoint and then I'm a talking head and I go through things like this. I'm curious because I haven't posted any videos like that to this channel. Do you like this format? Was it helpful? to kind of have the data there on the screen. I would love to know. So drop that in the comments. And of course, if this was helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing with others. 
I think anyone who's willing to work hard can live the life of their dreams and make a lot of money on the side. And I'm trying to help you accomplish that with this channel. So if these are bringing you some value, please share the word. All right, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.